What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And today, we are back talking about Candace Owens, and she's getting more popular by the minute. Uh, we know that she is a black conservative. She... I believe is the co-founder or founder of Blexit. Just ask Kanye West. Um, and she's also really opinionated. I've talked about her several times on this particular channel. Now, Candace Owens supposedly is a voice for the African-American community. Now, many blacks don't feel that's the case because of her talking points. Uh, and who she is married to, but that is another discussion. Candace Owens has also been very critical of the George Floyd situation. And you guys saw the video that went viral. I talked about that. But then here's the situation is that someone else called George Floyd a thug, right? And the person that called George Floyd a thug is Mr. Michael Dykes. Now, Michael Dykes from Birmingham, Alabama. Now, you must understand Birmingham, Alabama is really a, a significant city for African Americans, right? I believe the 16th Street Baptist Church was the bombing that took place in Birmingham, Alabama, right? And then you had so many things happening in Birmingham, Alabama as one of the most racist cities. Um, you know, you had one of the, you know, Bull Connor as the chief of police there. So Birmingham is a, is a city that many, that makes many African-Americans cringe when you think about it, although it has a large black population to this day. Mr. Michael Dykes sent out a message that said, Mr. Floyd was a thug, didn't deserve to die, but honoring a thug is irresponsible. And he said that, uh, you know, basically people who were protesters called them idiots. He said the cafe should increase prices as a protest tax and employees who participated in the protest should resign. Now, M Mr. Michael Dykes is well entitled to his own opinion. For sure. But obviously saying something like that is going to get you attacked, especially right now. And again, if you felt this way, it is really stupid to say such a thing. Even if you feel that you were right, it doesn't make any sense to say that when you know that somebody is going to be very offended. And people were offended, okay? But see, Candace Owens comes to this person's defense, all right? He came to this person's defense, and so I, I guess something that the restaurant was shut down, or people started to, um, I don't know if the restaurant was vandalized, but something he needed some money, all right? What Candace Owens did is Candace Owens raised $205,000 for Parkside Cafe in Alabama. Parkside Cafe in Alabama. She raised $205,000 within two hours. Now, again, that bar restaurant became into turmoil and that owner needed help. And, you know, shout out to Candace Owens for helping this white bar owner, right? I mean, I think that's very commendable give her a round of applause it's very nice of her to do that but then GoFundMe shut it down and it said this dating music or she said this dating music after raising two hundred five thousand dollars in a few hours GoFundMe decided to halt my campaign for the Parkside Cafe in Alabama at their discretion they deem that funds raised for a conservative business constitutes intolerance they will however give the funds thus raised to the cafe so, 
Mr. Dyke said that uh, he let everybody down and he never intended any harm. Of course you intended to make any harm because you said you made the statement. You're not necessarily sorry about that. You're, you're just probably sorry that you said it at this time. But see, here's what I want to talk about. Here's what I want to talk about. I thought Candace Owens was supposed to speak for the black community. But why is she raising money for the white community? I'm, I'm trying to understand that. Why? I mean, if Candace Owens was trying to help blacks in Blexit, why isn't her efforts focused on raising money for blacks? I mean, this is nothing new with Candace Owens. When you go to Blexit events, or if you've seen Blexit events on, on, on TV, I've never been to one, so I can't say that I've been to one. But look at the crowd. How many people in Blexit events are actually black? Um, well, many times a lot of whites are in the crowd at Blexit events. They're there all the time. And see, Candace Owens will not raise any money to help black businesses that were affected by the same violence. But she will help a white business that talks bad about black people. The same people that she said she's trying to help. Now, a good buddy of mine said that uh, Candace Owens is this girl that was Brandon Tatum. He says if you have a problem with Candace Owens, then you have a problem with him. Now, I like Brandon Tatum a lot. I think he's a nice guy. But I think that is that it, 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 it is time that 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 Candace Owens, brother Brandon realize that she needs not talk to black people anymore. What she should do is just call herself a conservative who's happening to be black, who really doesn't align with the black community. That's really what we're talking about. This, this doesn't have to be mean. It doesn't have to be personal. But Candace Owens is not a black first person. A lot of Republican conservatives that are popular are not. You are black, you happen to be conservative, you pick your politicals in American citizenship over, you know, the policies that help the black community, which is totally fine. And you put other people's interests first in front of African Americans. You talk at African Americans, I mean, not necessarily Brandon, I'm talking about Candace Owens when I say you, you talk at African Americans. You don't talk to African Americans, you talk down to African Americans. But then you wanna say that you are for African Americans when you want to help African Americans, you do so at the expense of a white person who calls a person a thug. Now, I wanna take a page out of David Carroll's book because many people like Candace Owens or Brandon Tatum, you would, you would consider them to be Christians. I know Brennan Tatum is a Christian, so I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll use him. Um, and I, I do believe that he is a, a, a person who is a, a, a trying to be a good Christian. I will believe that. I believe that Candace Owens would identify herself as being a Christian. Because there's somebody that is named Paul in the Bible. And Paul was a person that name was Saul. And he was um, a Pharisee. And, and Saul was a persecutor of Christians. He was from Tarsus and he was a killer of Christians. But somehow, some way, I mean, Acts talks about it as uh, he was blinded for th three days and then Paul himself says he had an out-of-body experience. But somehow Paul becomes, Saul becomes Paul. And he changes. He, he changes, right? And and now Paul is the person that, 
is dealing with 26 books, or I mean, I mean, at least 18 or 16 books of the New Testament. Okay, now I'm, I'm using that to say this: George Floyd allegedly was using a counterfeit $20 bill. We don't know if it's true or not. But before that day, he was not committing any crimes. He has never been charged with any crimes. And you want to call him a thug, but he's not doing any thug things in the last, you know, in the last few years. He was a thug before. At the time that he that he that he died, was he a, still a thug? See, and this is the problem. A thug is a person who was a violent person, um, a, a, a hoodlum, a bully. Um, I don't see him being a thug, but what it looks like to me is that you want to use his past against you, against him for for what he already served time for. And um, you know, what if somebody says that you are a racist, Mr. Michael Dykes? You are a racist, and you apologize. But what if people use this against you for the rest of your life? Wouldn't you be able to say that you changed or you're not the same person anymore? You didn't really mean that. See, this is what we're dealing with. I, I think this is what you're dealing with. And I I, I really hope that we see the, the playbook with some of the black conservatives out there. Um, I don't have any personal issues with them, but this, 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 these are the people that they're on their side. Okay, Kenneth Owens is not on the side of African Americans. She's showing it. She would do anything to help them. She's not trying to help you. She's no different than the liberal Democrat. She's no different than them. And uh, let me just stop there, all right? Subscribe at the bell. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Peace out. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. We out.